Let's begin with what could be, what could well be called the state of the nation on this Christmas Eve. Two Christmas messages from the two men around whom the country's politics has revolved for most of this year. President Uhuru Kenyatta used his Christmas message to call for national unity, saying he will be working to, with his rivals in promoting development. Nasa leader Raila Odinga on, his, on, on the other hand says the country is deeply divided between those rallying behind what he calls a dictatorship and those who believe in democracy. He insists that his much publicized swearing in will happen in the new year. Here are the details from our political reporter Jeff Kiroi. After a grueling year of heated political campaigns in the country, two Christmas messages from the two main players in what has been an ugly theatre in 2017. In his message delivered to the nation on Christmas Eve, President Uhuru Kenyatta called on Kenyans to shun their differences and embrace unity just two months after the last of two elections that split the country along tribal lines. In this year of political competition, we hold fast to the truth that difference need not mean division. We hold to the truth that we can do far more together than we can apart. And we remember that any Kenyan's child is to be honored as our own. Unity is at the heart of Christmas. Without naming any names, President Kenyatta reiterated that his government is ready to work with anyone to drive the development agenda of the country. Instead of recrimination, let us join hands in common work. Let us feed the hungry. Let us house the homeless. Let us give work to those who have none. And let us bring medicine to those who are ill. These are the goals my administration has set itself. But his rival NASA leader, Rilo Dinga, called on the country to reflect on the events of the year 2017. In his statement, and I quote, we and 2017 are deeply divided people. We are divided between those who have rallied behind the leadership that wants to take us back to the dictatorship and those who believe that democracy and rule of law portend a brighter future for us all. Odinga says his coalition will not relent on its push for electoral reforms, insisting that the current regime was taking the country into a dictatorship. His statement says, and I quote, as we are shy in 2018, we are called upon to choose between resigning ourselves to dictatorship, to accept and move on, or to stand up for what we believe in. This is not a time to look back. This is not a time to nurse grudges of the past. This is a time to forgive and to look forward to the renewal that God promises in the birth of this child. Rayla insists that the much hyped swearing in that never took place in 2017 will be coming soon in 2018. The statement says, we promise you that you can now look forward confidently to our swearing in ceremony very early in the new year. And even as the political environment in the country remains calm during this festive season, it is clear that 2018 will no doubt not be a completely politics-free. Jeff. Kirui KT News.